was James Farmer Jr. When we think of the Civil Rights Movement, we often think of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. But another important leader during this time was James L. Farmer Jr. Farmer was born in Marshall, Texas on January 12, 1920. His mother was a teacher and his father a minister who was the first African American to earn a doctorate degree in the state. James L. Farmer Jr. was such a good student, he skipped grades until he became a freshman at Wiley College at the age of 14. During his studies, he thought about going into a career for medicine, but decided to follow the family business and become a minister. James Farmer studied Mahatma Gandhi's teachings. He would later apply the philosophies of nonviolent civil resistance to U.S. racial desegregation. He went on and found CORE in 1942 with his friends George Hauser, Bernice Fisher, and Bayard Rustin. CORE was originally named Committee of Racial Equality, and about a year later, the name was changed to Congress of Racial Equality. This group was about three main things, the people, desegregation, and a direct nonviolent action. One direct action CORE was famous for was the Freedom Rides. The Freedom Rides were planned as mixed race and gender groups to test segregation on buses. On May 4, 1961, the group split into two groups and rode the buses from Greyhound Bus Company and Trailways through the Deep South. The Deep South route included Virginia, North and South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and New Orleans. The beginning of the ride went as well as segregation signs had either been taken down or the law was not enforced. When they got to Alabama, they were met with violence. The riders were beaten and the buses destroyed. They had to fly to their final destination in New Orleans. A second attempt was done and attracted media nationwide due to the violence occurring. In 1966, Farmer resigned from CORE and became a professor at Lincoln University. By this time, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965 have passed. In 1969, James Farmer was offered the Assistant Secretary of the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare, now known as the Health and Human Services. He was only in the position for a year before quitting due to bureaucracy. He continued his mission for integrated communities with equal power in various races and ethnicities. Farmer began to teach at Mary Washington College, now known as the University of Mary Washington. He wrote and published his own biography in 1985. He retired from teaching in 1998 and was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by Bill Clinton that same day. James Farmer passed away on July 9, 1999, leaving behind a legacy to continue to fight for the people.